As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Gisa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear?
Visit the tavern and I, if you've ought to discuss. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Off the stresses of the day. Fine, fine, fine. What should I get up to today? Pray. Hmm? Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me in Melv. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Now there is a hassle I can do without. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so! <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other, for all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? <laughs> Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off or to you buy. So spend away, my good sir. Always a pleasure. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. Here you are, sir. From me to you.
always another errand to see to. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? There's got to be something fun to do. What delights might there be to find in town today? Tell is, Vermont was once a Beastron kingdom. Truly? Indeed. Though tis not widely known among the common folk. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Whatever I might have do. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths.
Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Fancy a little more ways. Need anything? Stop by again soon. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary traveller. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Commerce is the domain of clever minds. You know where to find me. The solution eludes me, but I'm certain there is one. At your neck. The rules at your leisure. Oh, what does this say? Shall we take a closer look? Looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. 
Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Come back any time. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell is, there's been a shift in the chain of command. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true Arisen, then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, Your Majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Travo Mine to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. There is no shortage of beasts that need culling in this world. There is surely no challenge to which we cannot rise. ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Well met, son. How might I be of service? This really is fine. 
this part a little different as well. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. It would be unseemly for an elf to purchase one. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make. And yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me, I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I had been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so, though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I am indebted to you twofold. But this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Have any tidings to share? There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you. 
Yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels of Fornell. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, Your Majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to Your Majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time as Deza demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time as the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Go on, have a look. Go on, have a look. Best buy what you need, lest you regret it later. Pleasure doing business with you. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. The Arisen is ever prudent. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. I shall inform you if I learn aught of worth. We'll see each other again. In the meantime, I'll use all I've learned on our adventure to hone my skills as a thief.
A grand adventure awaits us. I just know it. Delighted to meet you. Especially if we share a sweet tooth. If tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. Travels arisen. I shall remember you always. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Remembered a curious rumor I overheard once. Seems there's an illness pawns can catch beyond the rift that has devastating consequences for those around them. Worse still, the pawn never knows they're sick. They just become restless and flippant and won't heed the arisen. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Whatever There's I might to do. To be had if one only seeks it. This town must have needs. It is my duty to find them. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Oh, 
Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Oh, let's see. What can we do without? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Have we purchased all that we require? We ought to review the contents of our packs, just to be sure. I knew the village would be in a bad way. Uh, what a bother! What to do? What's this all about? a glad thing we wasted when we flew. We must not let down our land. Let my magic explore into an elementary. Not bad. I nearly did it. We trounced our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Did anyone else see that? Ought catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
take this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. for it. This is where my luck runs out. Once you're broken, that's my speciality. Come to think of it, look how many women we count among our number. And yet, no two of us are the same.
freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our faith. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Yon ox cart is broken beyond repair. The work of goblins may have. No room for carelessness. Here I was hoping for some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Profitable endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> 